Hello and welcome to episode 57 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. And the last episode we nicked a win and oh my god did we steal it. It was a proper hijacking of the Chelsea game. Last minute goal from the Weg horse pressuring David Luiz into a mistake. But in general we've not been great recently and we've got what could be a very tricky derby against Huddersfield Town to start off this episode. And then we're away to Southampton. It would be great to get six points but... The way things are going at the moment, it's hard to believe. I've just noticed there we've had an offer for Romero, the one at the back. And a lot of people actually mentioning we maybe should consider bringing in a better keeper. And I think I'd agree he is declining pretty rapidly. And uh, we could get 10 million for him. What's his uh, salary? 1.2 mil. So I mean, we're fine for salary. So yeah, we can definitely try and move him on. Any chance of a little bit more? Probably not even worth the risk for an extra middle two. But what we can do, so we know we can sell him. That's fine, that's a real option. Any interest in Patterson? Uh, we could sell Jack as well, but five million to Swansea. That's a good move for him actually, but five million, that isn't really enough. And we'd have to bring in another English player, although he is pretty much redundant at the moment. We don't play him at all. So potentially we could let Jack go, uh, but we will need to bring in another English player. I think we're right at the limit of homegrown. Uh, I think it's time to send the scouts out to do something a bit different. They're not really finding anything that we need at the moment. I think Brunetta's going to make it through to the end of the season at least, even if his form doesn't pick up because he has been pretty poor in recent games, which is a real shame considering the dramatic improvement. But I think we stick it out with him attacking midfield to the end of the season. We, we need to give him a chance. We need to give him a fair run. Um, but we can uh, send the scouts out. We've got, what have we got? Just over a month or just under a month till the transfer window open so we'll send them out to look for a keeper in Europe uh, yeah we'll go whole of Europe and we've got Lukasen to come in at defensive mid so what we really need to find is a right back who can play central midfield to replace Patterson we're gonna send them out in England to try and find that and I think probably also in Europe to find that as well it's gonna be unlikely I'm hoping maybe they bring back Alexander-Arnold, who is a player I'd love to sign. And if the scout brings him back, he might be cheap enough that we can pull some strings and bring him in. And he'd be English as well. So I think that should do the trick. Right, let's get into the first game of the episode. A derby at Ellen Road. This could be tricky. And the club expects nothing but a victory. There's Marcelo Bielsa hyping up his side. He had a lovely, lovely time at the weekend in real life. Somehow inspiring his team to score. A late third goal to win their game whilst rivals Sheffield United lost in the last minute. Oh, brilliant stuff. And it was none other than P.T. Pablo, who uh, I don't know if he took his shirt off, but he, but he should have done. And Leeds now looking in much better shape for their promotion chances. So let's hope we can take some inspiration from that. Maxi Romero should be captain. Change that. Cliver up to 84. He is turning into quite a special player. He's on a downward arrow today. Mm. Uh, oh, and Horse on a blue. Right, well, I think we'll, we'll start Cliver because he's getting so good. We may have to change that over to Horse at some point. Alvarez to come in for Gomez on a downward arrow. Bernardo not looking too happy. I think we'll stick with it as it is. 91 team spirit. Huddersfield, the worst club in Premier League history, is it? The first, I did hear a good stat. The first club ever to be relegated from the Premier League before the official start of summer, before the clocks go back. So they've achieved something this season. Um, Mounier, well, we know him well from our last Master League series. He is a good player, a strong centre forward, but this is a game we should be winning. But Derby's just chuck all of the stats out the window, don't they? Anything could happen today. Let's find out. So this is a West Yorkshire Derby. Hotly contested, I'm sure. And uh, I'm not sure how many times they've played or who's up, but you've got to imagine that Leeds are obviously a side with a rich history. Very successful past. Not quite such a successful present. This season has been a bit of an anti-climax so far. Starting to think that the chairman's prediction, or not prediction, the chairman's hope that we finish ninth or above was actually pretty accurate. We had loftier heights in mind, but it's not really come off yet. So let's have a good performance to start this episode off. Come on. Oh, neat ball into Mounier. It's very wide here. But he's got options in the box. Lays it back to Pritchard. Good save, Romero. I thought we tracked that. We certainly had not tracked it. Oh, Mounier has played through. Bernardo can't get back. And Romero is beaten. And that is poor goalkeeping there. And it's poor play in general from Leeds. Huddersfield has started 
the far better side. And who's that caught out there? I think it's Alvarez, the number six. It's a thumping finish from Mounier, but the away side are ahead. Not a good start. The bad form continues. Oh, Mendes does really well to win that back. And skips away from the challenge. Ball inside to Brunetta. A little flick looking for Maxi Romero. It's a great challenge there, though. Oh, but Brunetta can pick it up. Steps away from Congolo. What a tackle that is. Bloody hell, they're up for this today. Oh, my God. Loughton with the cruncher. And then they're released down the line. Alvarez, wrong side. Low ball in. Mounier gets there. Second time of asking. Oh, my God. I mean, that tackle from Loughton just shows who's up for it today. And it certainly isn't lead so far. Brunetta, first time ball into Clivert. Finds the Dutchman in a bit of space. His ball over the top looking for Romero. Congolo with the mistake. Surely. Oh, my God. You do not see that very often. That is excellent work. Congolo. That is beautifully realistic. I love that. Because that could easily happen. It's really nice when you see Pez just throw up something a bit different. Something that you've not seen. Keeper couldn't get back. It just snuck in. Oh, well. Can we build on this? A little bit of luck. Clivert's hopeful ball. Into the box. Congolo well ahead of Romero. No communication. It loops it over his own keeper. Oh, Lossel. It'll be a Lossel as how that's managed to happen. All right, come on. Let's get the second. Oh, Mounier's played through. Martinez can't get close. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. Just too easy. Way too easy. It's a clever run and a good ball. Martinez couldn't get close. Romero sort of half came out, half didn't. And it's a good finish. Oh, my God. So this will be the last action of the half. Juan Brunetta to whip this one in. Bernardo's made a good run. Powerful header. Just punched wide by Lossel. Really unlucky. Almost drew it even there. Same again. Juan Brunetta. A little bit more on it this time. Cliver this time has made a good run. It's going to come back out. And Lowe can clear. Oh, my God. Mounier with a double. But Huddersfield did deserve it. Four shots for them, only two for us on target. Look very poor. I think one change we need to make is when in possession, Brunetta needs to be further forward. He needs to be bombing on. So we'll try that. See if that helps. Because he just doesn't seem to be getting forward. Don't know why he's changed that, but he just doesn't seem to want to get in the box. Oh, Mounier. No. No. Oh, my God. Fucking hell. Just absolutely destroying us today. Mounier out muscling Bernardo there. Easily away from him. Ah, oh, just awful. Oh, that's well won back. And now Pizarro. Ball into Maxi Romero. Oh, Congolo. Takes it off his feet with ease. Oh, Martinez nicks it back really well. He'll drive forward here. He's got Romero and the wake horse ahead of him. Neither of them making the right run here. But Lookman can put a ball in. No, we fucked that. That was a really good opportunity. Oh, Mounier plays it through. It's not going to be four here, is it? Surely. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Embarrassment. <laughs> Embarrassment here at Ellen Road. There's got to be booze ringing out now. We've been outplayed, outmuscled. Just about outdone in every possible way. By a shit Huddersfield side. Just shows how poor form we're in at the moment. Ball chipped in towards Romero. It'll be too little too late here. If he does finish this, no, nope, no, nope, can't even finish that. The one fucking chance we've had in this half. Oh, how has Mounier got that back? How? I'll oh, get away. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> well, this could be the end of our season. I mean, what is this going to do to their confidence? We've been absolutely battered here. This is just no good at all. Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. It's the worst loss we've ever experienced. And it happens at the hands of our local rival. And we just showed nothing in that. Absolutely nothing at all. Look at that. Dominated. Two shots. We had possession. We couldn't break them down. Unbelievable. Mounier, unplayable. Well, we've been derbied there. It happens every so often. You get a derby, it goes badly wrong. But we are now 10 points away from 6th. We're 4 points off ninth, and that's where we need to be to keep our job. We thought we were going to progress this season. If anything, it seems like we've gone backwards somehow. Jesus Christ. Well, this next game, 
could mean a lot. I mean, I dread to think what his approval rating is now. Without a win in... Well, we won the Chelsea game, but we're having a terrible run of form. And the owner has adjusted the goals. We've had a job offer from Antwerp. Should we take that now, do you think? <laughs> Maybe we should. 29% owner trust. Jesus Christ. Ninth place now looking far from certain. A win against Southampton now. It's huge. We need it. We absolutely need it. Brunette has been awful. Clivert can't get involved. I think we're going to try what we did before. Win in possession. But Brunetta is the second striker. We'll see how that works. Gomez back in today. That should help us. It's the traditional 4-4-2 of Southampton. Ings and Dermish up top shouldn't give us too many problems. But Mounier, not exactly the best striker in the world. He made us look like one of those weird Japanese game shows where they have like 100 kids playing against one adult. We were just, we were just embarrassed by him. He's not even that good. Right, come on. So we're here at St Mary's. Probably good for us to get away from uh, Ellen Road for a bit because we're not having a happy time there. Southampton. Like, I mean, these are all teams at the beginning of the season. We thought, yeah, these will be routine games. We've upped a level now, but it's definitely not the case anymore. We need to be scrappy here. We need to get the win. We need to be professional. And uh, we need three points more than anything. Pizarro switches play. Finds Cliver in a bit of space. Oh, he somehow got to that. Steps inside, Justin Cliver shot is blocked, better. We need to be switching the ball more often. Someone pointed that out in the comments and I'm well aware of it. We need to be finding him. That's the whole point of this formation. It's the wingers stretch the play. So we need to use them when they're there. And we do it far too rarely. Oh, that's a good ball into wings. Oh, he's away from Bernardo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Getting picked off here. We are having an absolutely torrid time. Let's just take another look at that. It's simple passing around, but that is another incredible ball. <sighs> it's a good finish as well. Romero didn't do very much to stop it, but... Unpicked by another great pass. Oh, Cliver somehow gets to that. Can he find the right ball into Romero? He'll cut it back, looking for Brunetta. <laughs> Almost went in. <laughs> Almost again. An own goal. Brunetta's ball in. Cliver will jump for it. Good fall here to Fagundu Kobos. Oh, and he gets the deflection. Another corner. Brunetta out to Kobos. Good hit. Great save. Oh, well, we keep the pressure on. Brunetta, again, we've had a lot of corners. Not able to really convincingly connect with any of them, though. But Gomez can pick this one up and drive forward. Have a chance to put a low ball in. Maxi Romero at the near post. It's fallen to Brunetta. Awful touch. Clive on the turn. Almost finds a way through. But we are not looking ourselves. Brunetta there looked like he'd never played football before. Gomez wins it back well. He's been great so far today. Ball into Juan Brunetta. Skips away from one. The right-footed hit is saved. Oh, my God. Pizarro. Rugged. Still Guido Pizarro. Still Pizarro. Guido Pizarro. Oh, would have been a very rare goal from the defensive midfielder. We're putting them under pressure. We've had great saves. We've hit the post. Now Pizarro again. Mendes looks for Brunetta. Turns away from Romeo. Oh, and he's finally got a fucking goal. No time like the present, Juan. I'm not even going to call you Juan Believable because you've been Juan Believably bad. Finally. Finally, a little bit of something. The last two or three games of his dramatic improvement were awful. We've been knocking on the door for the last ten minutes. We've deserved a goal. We've hit the post. We've had a couple of really great saves. That's nice. That's sort of Brunetta that we used to like. The one we can just vaguely remember on the half turn. So dangerous in the box, outside of the box. This is nice from the number 10. Just spins away from Romeo. Finishes on the right foot. Come on. And that's half time here at St Mary's. I mean, we put them under loads of pressure. We've been the better side. At least we can say that this time. We just haven't been able to find the back of the net anywhere near enough. Mendes, great challenge. We'll find Lookman here. Got men bombing on. One of them is Maxi Romero. Great take. Oh, another good save. Maxi Romero now out wide. Finds Lutman. Back into Romero. Oh, that's neatly worked. Lutman to the line. Flicks it back. Brunetta with the overhead kick. It's unlucky. Playing much better football now, though. Oh, Dermich has played through. Gomez can get across and get the challenge in, but it's not cleared. Pizarro, can't get to it either. This doesn't feel good. Richards. Orsolini in the box. Bernardo just shepherds him out. Danger not cleared here. 
Elianusi with the flick. Oh, you've got to get that away. Romero, you fucking idiot. You. Oh, my God. How? How have you not caught that? You could have just left it. I think it was going out. Nothing to worry about there. Just palms it right back to the Southampton player. It just goes from bad to worse. Bernardo. Stout header there. Pizarro. Lovely turn away. Now Romero, surely fouled there, edge of the box, chance for Brunetta here to even things up from a set-piece opportunity. We scored a free kick with Eggy in the last Become a Legend. Can our legend in this one, Juan Brunetta, get it up and over? Oh my god, that has got to have been close. Ah, oh, looked like that might have even gone in off the bar. Nothing's happening, nothing's working for us. Perea inside to Pizarro. One minute left here. Romero into the horse. He'll hold it up. Finds Maxi Romero. Away from his man. Can't get the shot off. And that'll be full time. Two losses in a row to Southampton and Huddersfield. It really is panic stations now. This is our season going down the shitter. We didn't deserve to lose that one. We deserved a draw. Oh, dearie me. Romero at fault for the goal. Maxi Romero as well. Both Romero's poor today. A 4.5 for Maxi. It's crisis. We are officially in crisis here. Ninth spot slipping away from us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it is Southampton in ninth with 25. We're seven points behind him. Seven points. It's not Christmas yet. And we're seven points away from where we need to be just to keep our job. We won't make it to the end of the season at this rate. That would be catastrophic. Jesus Christ. We're only four points away from the relegation zone. <laughs> Oh my god. So we weren't backed by the ball, we weren't given any money. We thought we'd been able to build a better squad, but that isn't the case. And now, well, the goal is ninth. The goal is to, well, the goal is survival in the Premier League at this point. Really, really poor run of form. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what's wrong. If we can't beat Southampton, then we're really in trouble. Well, they're having a, a, a better season than us. We've got Brighton, Palace, Everton coming up. We need wins, we need them badly. I'll see you in a bit.